The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. One of the scribes came to Jesus and asked him, Which is the first of all the commandments? Jesus replied, The first is this, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is Lord alone. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this, You shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. The scribe said to him, Well said, teacher, you are right in saying, He is one, and there is no other than he. And to love him with all your heart, with all your understanding, with all your strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself, is worth more than all burnt offerings and sacrifices. And when Jesus saw that he answered with understanding, he said to him, You are not far from the kingdom of God. And no one dared to ask him any more questions. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. <clears throat> Mga kapatid, tayo ngayon ay nasa kalagitnaan na ng kapanahunan ng kwaresma. At kung inyong matatandaan, sinimulan natin ito noong Merkules ng Abo, kung saan sinabi ng pari sa atin habang inilalagay ang Abo sa noo na tumalikod sa kasalanan at sa mabuting balita ay manampalataya. Turn away from sin. And believe in the gospel. We began the season of Lent with a reminder that we need to change. That change is important, and it's about repentance. Kaya na pagganda tayo natin sa ating sarili na nangangalahati na tayo ngayon sa panahon ng kwaresma. Kumusta na ang ating pagbabago? Mayroong bang pagbabagong naganap sa atin? Nung sinimula natin ang kwaresma para tayo makapagbago, binigyan tayo ng mga tatlong bagay na pwede nating gawin upang makapagbago. Prayer, fasting, and almsgiving. Nagagawa ba natin yung mga bagay na ito? At kung nagagawa natin itong mga bagay na ito, mayroon bang nabago sa atin? Because Lent invites us not only to, uh, to any kind of change, but towards a repentance, to turn away from sin. And isa sa mga signs na tayo ay nakakatalikod sa ating mga kasalanan ay mas nagiging mapagmahal tayo. Lumalakas yung kapasidad nating magmahal. Kaya nga't hindi katakataka na dito sa ating Ibanghelyo noong nagtanong ang isang eskriba sa kay Jesus kung ano ang pinaka ma ang una sa lahat ng mga utos. Jesus simply said, The Lord is the the Lord our God is Lord alone. You shall love the Lord your God with your whole heart. With your soul, your mind, and strength. And the second is loving your neighbor. So unang-una yung pagmamahal sa Diyos. And we become what we love, sabi nga nila. Kapag ikaw mahilig sa pagkain, lumalaki ka siyempre. Kapag ikaw ay mahilig sa sports, gumaganda ang health mo. And when we learn to love God more, we become more God-like. Because ultimately, that is the goal of our life here. Not to become like anyone else, but to become more and more like God. And our love for our neighbor 
will simply flow from our love of God. It is because we have become more and more like God. We cannot become like God exactly, but we can be God-like in our ways, in our dealings with other people. And we can only do that if we learn to love God first of all in our life. Why do we need to love God first of all and most of all in our life? Sa buhay natin, marami tayong mga minamahal. Minamahal natin yung ating pamilya, minamahal natin ang ating trabaho, minamahal natin yung pinagtrabahuhan natin, yung bahay natin. But all these things that we love and we consider important, hindi sila magtatagal. And they are not God. And in the end, only God remains. Lahat ng mga bagay na pinapahalaga natin dito sa mundo, mawawala lahat yan. But in the end, only God will remain. That is why it is important that more than anything that we love in this world, we love God first of all. Because in God, we find the source of our life. In God, we find the source of our love for other people. And in God, we find our salvation. So love God and then love your neighbor.